Let's talk a little bit about the, the ministry of CBI. Sure. Uh, talk about all the aspects of that ministry, how, how you're seeking to make gospel impact in Japan? Yeah, so CBI is an equipping ministry. Our mission is to equip Christians in Japan for the work of gospel ministry. And, um, and so the way that we look at the situation, not just where we are, right? We're in Japan, who we're working with, we're working with Japanese people. We also wanna ask the question, when we are? When are we when it comes to church history and mission in Japan? Because if we come in with just that like pioneer mindset of it's an unreached people, we've got to do everything. Um, it's it's really I, I call it Jimmy Buffett missiology. Uh, I don't know if you're a Jimmy Buffett fan, but you know Jimmy Buffett. He's got this song, "A Pirate Looks at 40. and it's kind of his lament that uh, the the career that he was really made for was to be a pirate, but his occupation is just not around. Yeah. And that's the experience for some missionaries is like you read the missionary biographies, right? And you get inspired by these guys that went and were pioneer missionaries. And you look at a place like Japan, you're like, it's unreached. I'm going to go be a pioneer missionary there. I mean, I kind of came in with that mindset a lot of ways. But then you realize like there actually is an established church presence. And if you just bulldoze that as, as a veteran missionary counseled me early on, he said, you can start a new denomination, you can start a new church, but if you don't understand why the church is the way it is right now, you're just, it's just gonna end up in the exact same place because there's a huge cultural element that's playing into that. So with all of that in mind, CBI is, is an equipping ministry. So we wanna help support the church in Japan to see churches planted, you know, people come to Christ, and, and, um, and our vision really is gospel movement. So our vision is the gospel of the glory of Jesus Christ cherished and proclaimed throughout Japan, right, right out of 2 Corinthians. Mm -hmm. And, um, and so we can't do that. <laughs> that's, that's a good vision statement is like, we can't do that. And so our mission is basically our way of, of you know, trying to be part of a developing ecosystem um, that is you know, with, with aspirations and desires to see a gospel movement that only God can do that has to be led by Japanese Christian leaders. And so our investment is trying to invest in those leaders. So we have um, Christ Bible Seminary, uh, which is kind of a traditional theological education program. We have uh, the Joy of Japan Center for Church Planning and Development. I can share more about why it's named that uh, in a moment. But um, that is uh, basically a ministry that focuses on helping to train church planners and church revitalizers and um, taking both of those things seriously at the same time and really seeing the ways that they overlap as well. Um, we have a publishing ministry that we call CBI Press. And then lastly, and this is how we got connected uh, before, is we have a Christian counseling project. Hmm. So in, in, this, in the U.S., we call it the Christian Counseling for Japan Project. And uh, the goal there is, is developing Christian counseling resources for the church in Japan um, in a place where there's a lot of you know, social and emotional needs and, and obviously spiritual needs, we found that there were very, very few resources that were available to help the church and help Christians. And so we're working on trying to develop both training and resources uh, in that area. 